What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm The Vigorous Shooter, and today we're talking lighting. Lighting is one of those things that could go right over your budget and you don't even think about it. I see a lot of videographers creating their budget specifically to buy a high-end camera and not leaving enough space in their budget for lighting. That's actually the opposite way of doing things because you could have a decent camera and great lighting and your shot will be AKA cinematic just because you've learned proper lighting. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys fundamental lighting techniques that you can use to get your videos from looking like this to look like that. As always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a video. So with this lighting setup, I kind of got creative a little bit to make it happen. I decided to start with my practicals first. And in this case, my practicals are the backsplash lighting, the microwave light over the stove. I decided to start with them because I wanted to expose the camera specifically for those lights. They don't have any dimmers or switches that I could dim them down with, I decided to do all of that in camera and build around it. Once I got that situated, I added my key light. And now my key light, I got pretty creative with that as well. I threw a diffuser sheet right over two light stands and I doubled the diffuser sheet so that way it could soften the light a lot more. And behind the diffuser sheet, I put up a 60 watt light that had a reflective dome right over it so I can direct the light into the diffuser sheet. After adding the key light, the key light started to throw off weird reflections onto the backsplash in the background. So I had to come up with a way to cut off some of those reflections. I used the foam board and slowly cut off the light, even though it didn't cut it off completely because the foam board wasn't big enough, but at least I minimized the reflections that is hitting that backsplash. Now with this next light, I had to get very resourceful on how I use it. With this light, I used it as a rim light to edge her out from the background and also to give me a little bit of a fill on the right side of her face. At the same time, one of the main important jobs that it's doing, it's lighting those cabinets on the ground because those cabinets are very dark. And for the next light that I used was a hair light. And this was a small little light that I purchased about two years ago. I noticed that this light had a really weird green cast to it. So I cut out a small piece of blue gel and taped it to it and hoisted it right over the model. So now we could have stopped here because this picture actually looks really good from here. But I decided to take it a step further based on my preferences and what I like. And that's okay, you know, there's many ways you could get creative with your lighting. There's tons of different approaches that you could take and whatever is going to do it for you go ahead and push to that limit and accomplish that the last light that i added was actually another 60 watt light and i beamed it up to the ceiling and put it at a low power so the reason for doing that was to get a more ambient feel in the room i wanted the room to feel a little bit more even and not too contrasty. It's spreading light everywhere. And by not turning the power up on that light, it's just giving it a soft accent. So naturally that light is spilling everywhere. So now we have to control some of that spill. So what I ended up doing is I grabbed a black foam board. I attached it to the microphone boom pole and I was able to cut off the light that was reflecting onto the cabinets in the background. And that made the scene feel and look a whole lot better in my eyes. And once I finished doing that, took it to color grading, I was able to get a result that looks like this and there you have it guys like this is how simple it is to approach lighting you just have to use a little bit of technical skills but at the same time you're going to need a whole lot of experience because every location has its own issues has its own fault and you have to work around each location so it's very important for you to get practice 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 so that way if you don't have a large budget for your shoot you can get creative with very minimal lights and make your shoot happen efficiently and get great results from it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot from it. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, I'll see you on my next one. Deuces.